Hello, what's going on guys? My, my name is Loitek and welcome back to another episode on my Omnifactor series. So in the previous episode we built these two towers for SMD components and in today's episode it's finally time to um, complete the automatic refined circuit stuff. So I'm probably going to put these videos as optional since this is just building stuff and not really just working on progress. But um, yeah, just putting them an optional if you want to watch them, just watch them if you don't, don't. And in today's episode, we're going to be automizing this. Where is it? The plastic circuit board. And we're going to do that by just placing two of these uh, cables. Then I need to get some bucket. Two buckets. And three ender voires. Or under whatever. Oh, no. There we go, another one. Okay, so. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is you can place this down like this, and then fill them with water like this. And it's a bit weird, but it works. You can also right click them and they become a dispenser of water upwards and sideways, I guess. So if I put a chemical reactor here, as you can see, it will slowly start filling up with water. And if I put another chemical reactor up there, we uh, just have to put this first, there we go. And another chemical reactor, it will get the sulfuric acid this is going to produce. Oh, I wonder, do I have any cluster mills? Why don't let me see. How does one make a cluster mill? Not that hard. Should I make... Yeah, let's just make... Uh, six motors. CPU simulation. Oh, we don't have steel. So, iron have to automate steel as well and charcoal dust I don't know why I put three here and two there and I can put this into the macerator uh, to put the salt through the salt is for the um, polyvinyl chloride down below you have to supply it with salt that's the only downside of the system I can think of right now so apparently this doesn't have enough water to produce it yet. There we go. Or we won't, we don't go. I just put in Tina four by four. Could work. Another one here. And if this is done. And just put it through. There we go. Put that motors through, and then we need to fix this as well. So this thing will basically create sulfuric acid from. Okay, there we go. This will create sulfuric acid from sulfur and water, and it will create three buckets. Of sulfuric acid per sulfur dust we put in and then this tree will go in and will create plastic circle boards for one eighth of a bucket so we can create 24 of them with one sulfur and if i go there motors should be done no what's going on down here start scheduled scheduled Okay, why are you not working then? We just cancel and retry. So, motor. And. Let's see what's wrong. Not crafting anything. Not crafting the cables for some reason. Oh! Probably forgot. Yeah, f wire mill is full. Yeah, that's that was wrong. So 
while that is on its way, I'm just going to put the M interface right here and two cables here. Oh, the wrong one, kind of cables. These two cables, there we go. So this will extract, this will insert, oh, and extract, stable self feed, and this will also insert. Actually, a lot of them will insert. Let me just grab a piece of sulfur. And let me just this whitelist and another one here. Just that this time is blacklisted. So th what this does, it will just basically put this put sulfur down there and everything else up here. But we need a cluster mill first. So the motor is done. Yep. Okay. So now we need MV machine holes and we just need one you're missing a wrench and the machine hole there we go okay so uh, the cluster meal is basically completed and I'm just going to put it on top and let it say actually have to break this one first and then place another cable have any cables no, I don't. Let's get some more. So, I have only four more. I'm probably going to make, probably going to need to make some more for the that thing. So, first, no, I actually won't. So let's see. MV. There we go. Oh, what? That was wrong again. So. We need the thing so we can okay so I'm just going to wait for the thing to probably already done though not crafting oh yeah four six where am I oh there we go let's see the status three okay so um I've got everything. Oh yeah, so the the last thing we need is a circuit. Two of these. And there we go. MV machine hole. And it should be cluster mill. There we go. So now that we have these, I need a copper plate. Which I don't have. And while we're at it, let's just create a copper plate. Um, this pattern. So clear this out. Find the pattern. Your pattern. There we go. So this, this, and go right through. Actually, oh no. Okay, okay. So. Um, now we need to put the cluster mill here. Um, wrench. I need a wireless system, so wrench. So we need to put it on the output, of course, on the bottom. This will go here. And this one will only allow for the plates. So plate. Get copper plate there we go. And now this should be it. I just click this. No, oh, no items liquids. And then this. So this should put Le okay, so let's let's do the math. So sulfur, it should do one sulfur, and we get three of those. Three buckets. One bucket is enough for eight. So we need uh twenty-four copper plates. So twenty-three in the making. Can I just 
one and then increase it somehow. Let's see, shift clicking. Now. Hmm. And I think there is a keybind you can do this with. Increase the count, but let's 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 not do that now. So I just put twenty three of these. One, two, three. Here. And then we need polyvinyl chloride, and we need. No, 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 no! I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. No, not twenty three. We just need eight. So. Upper four one two three four. So we just need eight because they will multiply it themselves by four. Actually, we only need six because it's by four, not by three. And we need twenty four of these. Twenty four. There we go. And let's uh, let's let's see. If I do this and just put the stuff in here manually so this will go directly to here i need to put something else here there we go and these directly to yep we got something sulfur so this should do it let's see so if i put this in here it should now start producing sulfuric acid and this should start producing in copper foils and once this is done it should go directly up yep and it takes some time but it should be working let's see this should go directly back should appear here but it doesn't. Let's see if it's in the ME system. So plastic, not plastic, there we go. It is inside, so it works. Just need to prepare the one of those things. So we need, we can make 48 of them at once. So this is done and 48. And then I can just simply put a pattern that I don't have inside of here encode it and this do this so no oh wait I put this one inside that should I should have put this one inside of here because it is a presser recipe nice to have to see the C4 or different plates in the same spot so the circuit boards are now completed and there is one last thing we need to create and it's going to use all the things we can automate here and something else as well. So let's see. So do I have a wrench? Yes, I do. Fluid auto output. Then if I can go and find my assembler which is I think in the ME system yep there we go and we also freed up a disk so like this and here should be a tin or soldering alloy and when it processes it should create two uh, two times or for two batches of circuits and one batch of circuits should require one plastic board Let's see, so one batch of circuits requires a plastic circuit board. Actually, they need two plastic circuit boards. So two plastic circuit boards. S, so SMD. Eight of these. Eight of these. And eight of these. And soldering alloy, of course. And another thing, which is a thin, thin alloy wire. So I think that should be everything. And do we have any circuits? 
We are one short. We are not one short anymore. Oh. Oh, this is polyethylene. Yeah, we are still one short. So let me just. Um, so what's that tank? The tank. So I can just get rid of this liquid, put it inside, and clear it. I learned recently that you can clear tanks by putting them inside the crafting table, and some more solar, or the recipe. So if I see. Okay, so we were missing two capacitors or what are the transistors? The orange ones are transistors, the blue ones are resistors, and the SMD, the green, the yellow ones are the capacitors. So I believe if I if I clear this, put this, 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 here this, this, in the soldering alloy. And like this. So if I go and grab a pattern, let's see if this works. Of course, it doesn't. We need for some of the first. So I believe we can just use one of these to blacklist a uh, soldering alloy. And that's probably it. So let's see. Extract, always active. Insert, extract, always active. Let's let's test it out. I hope it works. So, uh, refined circuit. Let's say we just want eight. Something's not working the way I want it to work. Scheduled eight of these. Yeah, something's not working. Let's see. It is on extract and always active. And this is just blacklisting that, so. I don't see any problem with that. Let's try it again. Oh, not that, but refined. Hmm. Let me let me just troubleshoot this real quick and then. I have figured out what the problem was and the first problem was that you cannot uh, output from these, you can just input inside of these. So I have created the chest and uh, did some wiring, rewiring in here. And this takes a lot of time but I, you can cancel it midway because it will still do its thing. And in here I forgot about the fine teal wire, alloy wire on the fourth and the, on the third end and two processing and I forgot about, I totally forgot about those two components, so it wouldn't work even if it inputted them. So now that I am, um, I am, okay, so I'm making some more wafers, so I can have them on stock. And if I go to integrate, uh, not, in, not integrated circuit, but refined circuit, I can middle click and request 16 of them, because I, it 10 instead of just one for some reason. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. And if we ran out of any subcomponents to this, it will just automatically go and create them. So now we have a fully automatic refined circuit system. As you can see, it's coming in. And it does take some time, but I mean, you can just batch craft them once and then have them for a long time. And on this one, I will probably just input some more, for example, as you can see, if I go here, refined, I also have a refined processor. 
So I can also input that as well into the same the same interface. And when I want to copy the recipe, uh, this is the simple recipe. It requires two of each component, three refined circuits, a plastic circuit board, and some fine teal alloy wire. So yeah, if I do that between episodes, don't be surprised why I got don't those many, and I'll probably update them as well. Update you on this. So in here, I'll probably also put those refined circuits and refined processor arrays. So this is a little bit more complicated because it requires a vibrant alloy wire and RAM wave RAM RAM, and maybe later on even refined processor mainframe, which requires a lot of resources. Mainly uh, eight, eight one times alloy, uh, vibrant alloy wires, four RAM, two refined processor arrays, stainless steel frames, and this. I haven't actually made this one yet, but it's pretty simple. Platinum wire. Yeah, I thought it was simple until it got to platinum. How does one obtain platinum? Oh, platinum ore. Sheldonite. Sheldonite. Huh. Do I have any Sheldonite? I don't think I do. Uh, yeah, anyway, so that, that's gonna be it for today's episode. So, hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next episode where I finally go to... I'll probably do some AE stuff in the next episode. So, stay tuned for that and I will see you then.